Kan salaha holye helye mishayeka. For the word of the Lord would come to this people and to this nation on this wise. And I would speak to my people this night. Let my word stir within your hearts. Who is left among you that will stir himself up and encourage himself and take hold of me and awaken himself? For I have said, Awaken you that sleep out of your slumber and rise from the dead. Even now there must be, and they've got to be a change and a spiritual awakening. Without a spiritual awakening, without a revival in this nation speedily and quickly, the nation will go into total darkness. It is time and high time for my people to waken out of their slumber and stir themselves. It's time for the, my people that's called by my name, that's not ashamed of my name, to humble themselves and enter into your place of prayer and rent your hearts, not your garments. For you cannot see. Many of you, the scales has fallen upon your eyes. The gods of this world, the material gods of this earth, has blinded your eyes lest you should see. You've gotten yourself overloaded and overcharged with the cares of life. You've got yourselves involved with debt in the things of the world until God cannot awaken you. It is time for this mountain to awaken themselves. It's time for them that have stayed at home, that have not awakened themselves, that has laid sleep in their slumber to waken. I've ordained for my people to get out of the cities. For it's written in my word. When you see these things coming upon the earth, flee into the countries, flee into the mountains. My people, you cannot see the handwriting. For evil and Satan has took over the cities. Even now, I'm sending one of my last moves back into the highways and hedges to cry out the last cry before destruction. For this is the cry from the wilderness. Prepare ye the way of the Lord and make His paths straight. Smooth out your rough places. Straighten your crooked paths. Bring your mountains low and make your valleys high. For this is an hour that the axe is laid to the root of the trees. Every tree that does not bring forth the fruit of Christ shall be cut down. For this nation shall crumble to the ground. This is the hour of a spiritual awakening without revival, without an old-fashioned revival. The television revival has not worked. The televangelist has turned the revival into a showmanship, into an act, into an act of volunteer humility. But this is the time for my people to humble themselves, and to humble means to change, to repent. Change! Reform! Turn from the way you're going! It's time for God's people to make a change! For evil men and seducers are waxing worse and worse, and a strong delusion has swept the nation. For the Spirit speaks expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits, religious spirits, deceiving spirits, cunning craftiness and evil forces, seducing spirits and doctrines of devils has taken the nation. It is time for my people to turn around, turn back to your altars. 
It is time for you to repair your altars. Repair and rebuild your altars. Tear down your old traditional altars and rebuild your altars. Build the altar of your heart. Lay the twelve stones and rebuild upon the foundation of apostles and the prophets. Jesus Christ, the chief cornerstone. For there is no other foundation that you can build upon. Without this foundation is built up under your feet and your Christian faith is built up on this foundation. The storm that's sweeping North America and the universe. The persecution for out of this spirit of sodomy, out of this spirit of lesbianism, is going to come forth a persecution against the church. Churches by the thousands are going to have padlocks put on their doors because they don't bow to the Spirit. But if my people now will humble themselves and bow, you will not burn. For if you will not bow your knees to Baal, you will not deny your God in this time of these solid trials. Our God in this hour will take the burn out of the fire. I will take my blood and I will seal your hearts and I will seal you with the Holy Ghost and the blood of Jesus Christ will be applied to your hearts to all of this evil that's coming up on the face of the earth shall not touch you for I'm going to rock this nation and I'm going to bring down this government I'm going to humble the nation. I'm going to humble and crumble the nation to the ground. And all of my people throughout all of these church world that know God are going to be awakened. And all that's in the highways and the hedges that I will send out my servants and my handmaids to, to persuade them to come to my house for they're going to be a remaking and a new breed and a new generation of children of God in this hour for God will not move in the midst of the sodomy spirit and the God of heaven sees the spirit of sodomy now taking the nations over Europe and America and Canada is being given over to this strong delusion. Cry out unto your God now. Weep for yourselves and howl and weep for yourselves. For the day is at hand when you will say, Blessed is the King that has come in the name of the Lord. You will say in this day, Blessed is the womb that is not give birth. Blessed is the breast that have not been nursed. For woe be unto those that have small babies. For you cannot see. For God is angry in the heavens. He's calling His people into that sacred place of Psalms 91. But first you must humble yourself and apply Psalms 51 and search your heart. And search out my truth for your inner parts and your hidden parts. Come clean with God. Come down to reality of God. Judge no man after the flesh, for you church world, you judge after the flesh. I judge no man. And I condemn no man. But even I come not to judge the world, but to save the world. But the words of I speak in the latter times I have said will condemn. Hear my voice in this day. For this is the time that the man of God and the woman of God must examine himself and see to be in faith. That in your patience process you yourselves. For the trial and the endearment that you will have to go through. Soon you will have no evil to speak of no one. 
Brother must love brother. Sister must love sister. Even now you will soon come into the place by this you will know that you are the disciples of God because you have that divine love, that forgivable love, that merciful love, that kind and gentle love, that love of compassion and mercy that your brother be bold, you would reach down and pick him up, but not put your foot on him and shove him on down. Your sister, when she fell, you will heal and bring restoration in the spirit of meekness. For this is the day that the Lord has sent His word to heal the wounds and the bruises of the church. For this mountain needs a healing. There are hundreds, even five, six, seven, eight hundred living in this area that have took root here, that go nowhere. The Word of God goes out to this area. And the Spirit of God speaks, awaken yourselves, that it become bitter and cold and unforgivable. For the eyes of God sends His word and speech for there is to be awakening for I have laid the foundation of this house and I have desired to bring forth the glory of the latter house in this place and to visit this place with the glory of the latter house that shall be greater than the former hear my voice in this day for there has been a time and a wounded for the Lord have allowed you to be torn and smitten. But now through the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ, in His shed blood, His mercy and grace, there will be a healing. And then the Lord will pour out the latter rain of the Holy Ghost. There must be a change in the hearts and lives of God's people, in the man and woman of God, to be able to face this time and this hour. For the church cannot go on in its present stage, and I don't only speak to this church in this area, but I speak to all the areas. Lay up your weapons that you fought one another with, your spirits that you spirited one another with, and bound one another with. Lay these spirits down. Take hold of the Spirit of God. For the handwriting is on the walls of the nation. And I'm calling my people to strike. I'm calling my people to stand. I'm calling my people to battle. For evil has attacked it good. And the sodomy spirit is crying out against the church they're crying out against the commandments and the word of God they're not under the God of heaven they're under the God of evil for the spirit of evil has taken them over the conscience has been shared the Lord God has turned them over to seducing spirits turned them over to strange and downgrading passions and I say in this hour that the God of the heavens will shake you and make you. For behold, the voice cried out of the wilderness. Prepare you the way of the Lord. Make his path straight. That all people are as grass. And as flowers, the grass wither. And the flowers fade away. But he that hears the word of the Lord and hearkens to the word of the Lord and becomes a doer of the word of God shall stand forever. For the heavens will pass and the earth will pass, but my words will be unchangeable. Dig into my word. Dig into my truths. 
hide my truth in your heart and it will set you free. For I'll break the yoke from your neck and I'll take the burden from over your shoulders. This is the hour there must be a shaking. And I, God, would shake the foundation of this mountain. For I see how Satan from the 70s has set out to destroy this place. But I, God, has fought. And I, God, have stood up because I see the evil that's coming. For there is an Arabic war in the building. Sorrow shall take hold of this nation. For over 150 years, troops have not fought on these soils of America. Foreign troops have not been on these soils. But now God shall turn you over to the sword. The sword shall be within, and the famine shall be without. But he that serves the Lord in fear and reverence, and obedience to his word, shall not be touched by the sword within, and the famine without. If now you will hearken to my voice, open up your hearts, rid your hearts, for this is the time that I will give you the recreated spirit, the regenerated spirit. I will recreate and regenerate your spirit within you. And your flesh will lose its power. For sin is the strength of the law. But when the grace of God takes over, sin loses its power. For where there is no law, there is no sin. And I bring you into the law of grace, love and mercy, into the blood of Jesus Christ where there is no sin, where the God of heaven holds you up by the spirit of his mouth. For the law came by Moses, but grace and truth has come by Jesus Christ. And in this hour I bring grace and truth back to the house of God. That my people will be graceful and merciful to one another. For there must be a forgiveness. For when you forgive, you forget. And it does not come back to your remembrance. For as Christ forgave you, your life of past has been forgotten. Cast into the sea of forgetfulness. Even so... You must forgive one another and cast it into the sea of forgetfulness. Cast it aside, my people, for Satan have used this bitterness, jealousy, and envy, and strife, because he knows there's only a few left. There's not many left in this hour that's holding to the truth. Your big organizations are sold out to Hollywood. We're now going to sell out the sodomy for big denominations. And you will find, even of other groups of what you have called the denominational churches that didn't go in for the Holy Ghost, that you thought wouldn't stand, you big Pentecostal organization, you're going to sell out the sodomy while some of the other churches will stand up against sodomy. For I have not heard the cry out of these televisions against abortion. Only a few have spoke out. And only a few have spoke out against sodomy. Why has sodomy took over? And now taken over the nation. Take over Capitol Hill. And the liberal courts. My people. My people. Wake up, my people! Wake up, my people! Wake up, you man and woman of God! For soon you'll sit in church. Your song leaders will be sodomies. Your organ players. Your shepherds will be sodomies. 
Satan knows if he can come into the church and take the church over by sodomy, by lesbianism, that he will have the church defeated. But I, God, will not turn over and allow this. For as I said, Elijah to stand up against Ahab and Jezebel and their sodomy government. For they sold themselves like the nation of today. For the nations of the world have sold themselves to commit evil and the leaders have sold themselves to commit evil. And the evil that I spoke of is the sodomy evil. The abomination of things that the Lord hates. This is the time that is Peter spoken from his second epistle. That the elements will melt with fervent heat. And that God will remember Sodom and Gomorrah. Nineveh has Nahum spoke against Nineveh and Nineveh was destroyed. Even so, I God in this hour will raise up a voice to cry out. A voice from the wilderness shall come forth. The voice of Elijah. The Elijah of the Lord God shall come forth. And the Lord God of Elijah will stand up for those that stand up for Him. Hear my words. Hear my truth. For the Word of God will not lay cold. For my Word has been cast upon the waters of the peoples. Now in the latter end it shall return and accomplish the purpose that I have sent it. Not one God or one letter will fail from all the Word of God. Now my old anxious prophets, spirits will be made perfect. For I, God, will go back 25 and 26 and 2700 years ago. The old anxious prophets that spoke my word. I, God, will speak forth with their spirit. The spirit of these just men will be made perfect in this hour. The very word will be fulfilled upon this wicked and sinful and sodomite generation. For as the days of Lot, so is it now. And the nation has surpassed, America has surpassed the wickedness of the days of Noah. Your cities are filled with violence. Your nation is filled with murder. The city of righteousness is a hard city. The city of innocence is now guilty of the blood, touching blood. And I, the Lord God, will shake this continent from the Yukon to Buenos Aires. I will rock and I will shock, say of the Lord, I will shock from Russia. The Yukons, Alaska, Canada, Alberta, Washington, Vancouver, Washington, Oregon, California, Mexico, Guatemala, Salvador, Honduras, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama will be slaughtered. Up in the city, I will shake Columbia, Mary, Mary Ann. Peru, La Paz, I will shake Ecuador, Paraguay, Chile, Argentina, Brazil. How the Lord shall bring a rocking and a shocking across the continent before the ocean, across through Africa, Cape Town, Johannesburg. Hear the voice of the Lord on up through Russia. Hear the name of Jesus. For I will rock China with the earthquake of history. That the whole world will nearly feel it on the Ricker scales. For God will rock this nation. For New York City already is hollered out. And I will cause an earthquake to hit New York. 
that New York City will sink 40 to 50 feet, burn for nearly two months. The smoke of New York City will be burnt. Los Angeles will crumble and tumble into the ocean by earthquakes and fine volcanoes. For my word is going to California. Leave a message. Hear the voice of God. I'm going to send whirlwinds and tornadoes. I'm going to ride through northern Alabama, Huntsville, Decatur, and Fort Payne is going to receive a tornado to wake up these in this area. And I'm seeing a vision of an accident in this area. One of the worst accidents in, in, in probably ever is a sign, an explosion. Thumbo, holy hell, be For the Lord God speaks by His word to wake up. Already the word has spoken of disaster hitting the governor's mansion. Last fall, and it has been so. But this is not the end. Hear my voice. I'm going to rock Alabama. I'm going to cause an earthquake. 